we're going to go with that now. So, Milk Fish. Brian McPherson does Milk Fish. Here we are. Brian, all the way from, where are you, Edmonton? I'm in sure. Sherwood Park, Alberta. It's like a little suburb of Edmonton. Oh, lovely. I'm, there we are. I'm, I'm popping my Milk Fish cherry, buddy. Yeah, you're gonna milk. Uh, you're milking the. You're, you're milking out that thing for the first time. So it's good. It's good. Uh, yeah, dude. So so what's going on, buddy? How's that? So you're you're fucking Brian. If no one knows, Brian is a professional disc golfer in the province of Alberta no, 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 and right no, no, across no, Canada. No, 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 Semi professional. No, no. Yeah, listen, <laughs> I'm an amateur guy. Okay, I got a card. All right, everybody can. Whoever joins becomes a PDGA player. All right, anyone can join. Anyone can join. Oh, there we go. That's cool. So, okay. so the motto of it, though, Mike, is to grow the sport, you know? What are you going to do when you're quarantined? You can't go to play hockey with a big group of guys or, you know, whatever. Go out and throw some discs. Go out and throw some discs? Have you been doing it a lot or what? Is your whole season canceled? No, man. Well, I, we just had our first tournament on the weekend. Uh, it was the uh, Edmonton Ice Bowl. And uh, right, right there, I don't know if you can see that. Huh? Hold it, hold it up to the camera. Hold it up to the camera. Uh, first uh, place. Oh, shit. Yeah. Look at you. Congrats, homie. Congrats. Look at yeah, you. That's good. Well, they, uh, Tarot, they banned all public gatherings, over 10 people or 50 people. All comedy yeah. shows are canceled. I can't even go to a bar and have a fucking beer. Hey, how did that comedy thing you were, you were doing for Niagara's Best Comic go? Oh, I got heckled on stage real bad, and I fucked up my whole set. <laughs> you got heckled. You yeah, got heckled. This, oh yeah, this guy was going after me the entire time. It was bad. I slapped a what drink out of his. I slapped a drink out of his hand after the show. Were you were you just a little nervous, and he was just kind of like pushing you over the edge a little bit? I've never had a heckler before. Huh. Yeah. What a dick. What a oh dick. yeah. I told the fuck his. I told his girlfriend was ugly. I made a bunch of fucking. I made a bunch. I said a bunch of bad things to him. Then after, then after the show, he said something to me, and I slapped a drink out of his hand. Uh, Heath got in his face. It was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, Heath's like, Heath's like, what? You think you're some fucking comedian, you fucking peasant? I'll take those shiny shoes and show them right up your ass, you fucking faggot. Yeah. Oh, uh, I I hope that when I come down in May, some of this shit will be sorted out, and I can see you do a comedy show maybe or something. Oh, yeah, for sure. I can get on any time, uh, any of the clubs down here. So I just walk in, be like, hey, put me on, guys. No, <laughs> I just I, I just get a lot of, I don't know, I'm pretty good because I'm doing all the podcasts with the comedians down here now. So I'm getting kind of established. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's good you're doing, it's good you're doing your thing, right? You got to stick to what you love. I mean, you like to be, you know, you're a very uh, energetic, socially, you know, that person, man. That's who you are. Yeah, so it's uh yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. Make my head even bigger. But um <laughs> That's impossible. I, <laughs> I know, dude, it's fucking bad. It's getting worse, especially as I'm putting weight on. You know, if your forehead you get fat, it happens, trust me. You're like, oh god, I get a good chunk of skin over there. I don't know. You might have a six you might have a six head, bro. I got a I got a forehead, but it's like a six by four, you know, like I do like six down, six across. That's yeah, fucked I up. I didn't know I didn't know I was all the way at a six head, Mike. I thought it was like a a, a good five. But, you know, I mean, who's thanks, hand, thanks for who's, that. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be able to go outside ever again. Yeah, who, whose hand, though? Whose hand, are you, whose hand are you using, though, right, to count the fingers? Shut your, right? You shut your mouth right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this anyway. is the new format, buddy. You're the first guy on. I like this. Am I? Yeah. That's awesome. I, I did a test run with my buddy Eric the other day, but uh, but this is this is the inaugural one, so it's pretty cool. I see cool, Barstool. Man. I see Barstool do this, so I'm like, okay, Zoom. And I went and downloaded Zoom. And I'm like, this thing's amazing. I have to use this. God where, damn it! Where are you right now? Are you in your bedroom or something? Like, I'm in you? my bed. I'm in my bedroom because Adam and Tyler are here. They just got him from. They got him from Mexico. I don't know a few days ago, so they're on quarantine, right? So the whole house is filled. So I'm like quarantine. I'm fucking stuck in my room pretty much. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> lot lot a lot of self pleasure. Tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, I was, I feel you, dude. Oh Jesus! I can't even like I can't even go. Uh, there's nowhere to go. They can't even go yeah. to coffee. I can't even go have a coffee and sit down. I took well, the dog uh, for. Yeah, I took a dog for you, the walk. I took Chloe, my pup, for a walk today and got caught in the rain about ten minutes into it. That was fantastic. Drenched. But you guys got like no snow there right now, right? Like, it's pretty green or like uh, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, it's all overcast. It was like fifteen degrees today, but it was windy as fuck. 
Now it's down 15 about 15 degrees. Yeah, Celsius. Yeah. What? That's I missed that. I mean, I don't miss the hot summers though. No, it's a uh, nine. It's negative nine right now. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's cold. That's cold there. Oh yeah. It's uh. It's gonna be like that the rest of the week. It'll be like five, six. Uh, bullshit. Like I'm like it's fucking March. Like where's my nice weather? But no, can't get any some. Dr- you having some drinks this Friday evening or what? No, I got pretty plastered on fucking St. Patrick's Day at home, so I'm still good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you, man. Two-day hangovers at least nowadays. Oh, God. It's horrible, horrible stuff. What are you drinking? What are you drinking, buddy? Just a little, you know, the old Al Mac Classic, a little vodka, maybe a little, uh, a little Coke right here. <laughs> <laughs> the old Al Mac, how's the old man? Uh, he's good, you know, I mean, he's getting up there in age, uh, body's starting to wear down a bit, but my stepsister just had her third daughter. Oh, congrats, buddy, congrats. Yeah, yeah she had a kid in the middle of a pandemic, but the baby's healthy. I know, so. like, Heath's, uh, Heath's wife's pregnant, too, and she's about, she's due any time, I'm like, oh my god. Hello? Yeah, she's due any, any time, though. Any time, any Are they day. having a girl or a girl or a boy? A boy. Oh shit! Right yeah, on. man. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I, I'm not coming to the hospital, but I'll come say what's up, right? Fuck. But you can't though. Well, I have a friend out here who's having uh, a baby. And I think she's doing like early April. But like the doctor said, only uh, her and the baby daddy can be in the room, right? Or even at the hospital. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. St. Catherine's uh, just stopped all visitors after eight o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. So no more visitors to the hospital, which is like, oh my god. Yeah, it's getting there, buddy. End times, bro. End times. But you know what? It's, it's not. It's not the disease that's to me the end of time. It's the stupidity of people, right? Yeah. I mean, it, at, it, at the first. At the first. At the first signs of that, this was going to be a countrywide, not not just a global wide, but or uh, you know, it's going to affect us Canadians. Everybody went nuts, right? You see videos of like looting stores and shit. I mean, what just happens if like supplies run out? God forbid that ever happened. Probably never happened, but if it did, you know, it's going to be like the purge, right? It's going to be like Mad Max. <laughs> yeah, did you see someone was driving around with their car? They had a speaker in the back of their trunk, yeah, and they had it all loud with the purge stuff. Yeah, Burr. that's why I said that. Yeah. yeah. That, that freaked What's, me okay, out. Okay, Mike, Mike, Mike. All so, right. It's the, it's the apocalypse here, man. Okay, just pretend. What's your weapon of choice? What are you rocking? Are you rocking the bat or what? Uh, some kind of long I see knife. You, I see you like a spike-nailed bat kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. For longevity, I can use it as a tool, but also I have reach with it too. You know, I'd be like, yeah. "Gah!" But no, I have a, <laughs> I got a machete, a nice long machete, and it's uh, it's good. It's, oh, uh, 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 nice long like that. Yeah, yeah. that yeah, um, if if anything else, a gun. If I can get my hands on one somewhere, like yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure well, it'll be easy enough to come across. Out in Alberta, they're all hunters, right? You're just kind of like I'm sure there's gonna be lots of guns. Oh yeah, for sure. You'll be fucked. They're just, they're just gonna come. They're just gonna dress you up like a pretty girl. Just you're gonna be like the fucking. You're gonna pass around the currency. Yeah. Like deliverance. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know you so, can smell it like that. Oh shut up. <laughs> that, that was for your ears. That was for your ears only, buddy. So what's happened with the the women there, Brian? You got any, anything lucky lately? Uh, not, not for a while. You know, okay. One of my problem is, is I'm a fucking workaholic. So I worked, 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 worked. I saved up off the house and now I'm work, 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 saving to pay debt. And this is starting to like hit me now that I am not taking the time to enjoy the little things and doing things for me. You know, I just, I'm giving everything I have to my career and to the company I work for. And it's biting me socially. So, I mean, I'm going to work on that a bit. Um, what about you? Nothing, man. <laughs> 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 I, just, <laughs> I just coached day to day, bro. I got, I got nothing. I'm a broke comedian that lives at home. What the fuck else do I got going on? I don't mind. Life's too short, man. I just do whatever the fuck I feel, man. Yeah. yeah I don't know. So yeah. I'm, waiting for something. I'm waiting for something to come find me. And that's the problem when I don't, you know, go out and look for something myself, right? Yeah. I think I think at the point when I hit 30, I might have, like, a real, like, oh, God. Oh, God. I got to get it together. What the fuck? What the f- Oh, my Here, God. So many years I wasted. Am, 
I'm like a month away from that and I'm dreading every day up to 30 and be like, okay, I got all this material stuff, but where's the love, man? Where's the love? <laughs> Where, where's the inside? I got to take a, what's it? I got to take an emotional inventory instead of a materialistic inventory. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a cold, heartless bastard. I wait. <laughs> I gotta find out what's inside instead of find it on the outside. And you can't buy That's the right. stuff for the inside. I know. I know. Yeah. Where, 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 where's Custy, man? And I, I, I know he didn't want me to say it, call him that, but until he gets on the phone here, or he doesn't. Like, you know, he doesn't like being called that. No, man. Uh, you call. You call him Custy. See how he reacts. I do all the time. Here we go. You have reached the voicemail box oh. of... Oh, oh, the goof button! You sent a voicemail, son. The goof button. To... Oh, there he is. There he is. Still St. Catharines. It still comes up Mike Cuthbert, St. Catharines. Exactly. Hey, welcome, Mike Cuthbert. You're live on the Milk Fish Podcast. What's up, baby? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> say, say, Brian, say, what's up? What's up, baby? What's up, baby? <laughs> On the fucking podcast. Oh yeah, I got you. I got I got you to the microphone right now. One second. Brian, talk. I'm here, Mike. Where are you? You're not I'm on here. here. Is that Brian? Yeah. <laughs> I'm here, baby. <laughs> oh god. Uh, no, we tried. I uh, tried to send you. I sent you that link. You got nothing. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Fucking wife and kids at home. All the fun stuff. That's a pretty lame. What's excuse, going on? Right? <laughs> Nothing, man. Just uh, sitting here having a podcast with Brian. Trying to get you on too, so to have the three of us on screen together. I'm a busy, man, dude. <laughs> Between hate myself and fucking life, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not all that bad. It's not all that bad. No. It could be worse. That could be you. You fucking low life. I'm probably from a low life. What are you talking about? <laughs> Whatever, fucking DJ. <laughs> what's your opinion on that, Brian? What did he say? What's my opinion on what? About Custy. Uh, well, you know what? He's got a lot going for him. Uh, he's got a beautiful woman and some beautiful kids, so I have to hats off to him for sure. Hats off to him. Hey, Mike, do you see that promo I made for you, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's Brian, I'll make you one, too. What's, Brian, what's your track? Is it, uh, what's the instrumentals for your songs? For, okay, so, like, basically you're asking me what would I, what song would I walk to, walk out to as a wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Like, like I don't know. No, 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 no. It's the motherfucking C-U-S-T. <laughs> I don't know. What do, you, what do you think would be my song? I don't know. I'm feeling danger zone. <laughs> I get, I can fuck with danger zone. Yeah, I get, I get the instrumentals for it because I don't have to pay copyrights on it. So I can definitely do that. Perfect. Perfect. Def, definitely going to. <laughs> yeah, I got Brian up on video here, buddy. It's fucking awesome. It's pretty cool. We're all doing a whole. Yeah, is he fucking undressing for you? Oh, we got Nigel. We got Nigel. What's up, baby? Oh, there's some real gay shit going on there. <laughs> oh, yeah, I they're drinking to together, too. I love this fucking watch. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just got that H2O. He's not a fucking alcoholic like I am. You drink every night now, Brian, when you get home? Huh? You drink every night when you get home now? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, every night. You know, just the nights that didn't lie, you know? <laughs> every other night, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Jesus. Mike, you're probably doing the same at this point now. Just give What's it up. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen, listen. I'm a fan when, of that. When, when buddy. Listen, Mike's when you get away. into, when you're, uh, when you work at Procore and you are have a stressful day, you got to have a drink after. It's just part of the tradition. It's the way, it's the way she goes? It's the way she fucking goes, bud. At fucking Procore, it's that bad, eh? <laughs> no, it's just, uh. It is you got to unwind, man. You got to you got to unwind. Whether it be uh, yelling at your kids or having a glass of vodka. You just gotta... <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you? What are you? What are you trying to say about Mike here? <laughs> He's a very stern father figure. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
fucking right. Act accordingly. You know what I mean? We're don't, all on our way out. Don't fuck around. No. You you don't finish your dinner. You don't finish your dinner. You're gonna hear about it. <laughs> you'll finish. Yeah, you'll finish dinner. You'll get dinner for the next week. Yeah, exactly. Does, does you talk. You talk back. Oh boy. <laughs> no, it makes you a better father, probably. <laughs> you don't get drunk first. <laughs> Oh God, he's back. He's home. Everyone hide. <laughs> Holy fuck! Hey, uh, are you gonna be doing this most of your night tonight, Mike? Uh, I'm gonna edit the video after and shit. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna a couple minutes here. I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna fucking start cooking here. Yeah, it's all good, dude. This is just a trial run for us, bro. Ah, uh, I think a sign of things to come. Yeah, exactly. We're going to get you on here more, get Custy on here on actual video so we all see his face because I put a promo out video out for him. So people are waiting for you, Custy. I got lots of likes on it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm here to please. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 1,700 people are waiting for you to be on this, buddy. 1,700 people. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? I know what my promo is. What's uh, that? Ah, fuck. Who does that song? Is it flash dance? Flash dance. Flash yeah, dance flash dance. Oh, shit, I called it. Flash dance. Yeah. All right, cool. So I'll let you both go then, all right? Love you, yeah, boys. Yeah. 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 Cheers, Love you all too, right, bye. talk to you guys after. Yeah. Bye. All right, later. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Jesus Christ, get off the darts, Nigel. Yeah. How are you? How are you still on here? I don't know. I hear myself. I, I don't see you, but I hear it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Abort! Abort! I can't oh, end meeting. Okay. I, there's Great. no end meeting button. How do I end a meeting when there's no end All right. And once again, thank you for listening to the Milkfish Podcast. I'm Big Fudge. Talk to you all later. Sorry about Custom being on this one, but this is a little test. Oh, I'm just recording.